Hi everyone, welcome to the first ever CUP tutorial video. My name is Peter van Houten and in this video I will be talking about the basics of pulling a key with the Kickass key. Here. For this I will use some green screen footage courtesy of the Blender Foundation and the copy of CUC 3.1. This is a brand new version which will be released alongside this video. Among the things you will notice as you first go through the tool and switch tabs is the number of outputs that CUC offers. These will help you get the most out of your key as you can follow every step of it without having to wait through a jumble of nodes or switching channels in the viewer. And speaking of the viewer, one new feature to note in 3.1 is the viewer LUT setting. This serves to avoid that a LUT is applied to a mat output when we are working in linear space. Working in linear space is by the way strongly recommended when working with CUC. As I have an sRGB LUT active in the viewer, I want to set the viewer LUT to sRGB as well. So let's get started with the key. The first thing to do is selecting the screen color, in this case a lovely shade of green. Then I need to determine which type of clean plate I wish to use. There are three available options. The simplest one is solid color. This will use your screen color to key against and won't take into account any of the irregularities present in the green screen. All you need to do for this to work is select solid color as your clean plate and press the kickass key output and you're done. Obviously this is not the cleanest key as you can see here in the image and in the alpha channel. To make this work we would possibly have to start clamping the alpha channel and risk losing detail in the process. So ideally we want to use either of these two other options. When clean plate is set to external you could use a clean plate that was perhaps filmed on set which would be pretty phenomenal or one that you've constructed with your tools of choice. For this tutorial though, we'll generate one inside of CUC. So with clean plate set to generate, switch to the clean plate tab and set the output to screen select. The pink area you see here is what we are telling the tool is green screen. It's from this selection that a clean plate is built. This setting is not good. The selection eats into our subject, specifically in the hair detail. This is a problem when you look at the clean plate by switching the output you can see that color from the subject is bleeding into our clean plate. This will result in some of this detail being taken out in the key and we want to avoid this. So back to our screen selection. We can solve this problem easily by dragging the fine tune slider. This shrinks our screen selection until it's outside of our subject. These parameters down here are set by default to values that often work very well but for the purpose of this exercise, I'll set them all to zero so we can see what they do. Now you can see how we're left with our green screen selection and the black hole where our subject was. We want to fill up that hole by expanding the green into it. There are two expand settings, soft and hard. The difference between the two is that soft expand will also slightly smooth your green screen. When you only use hard expand, Whatever is inside the screen selection will be left untouched, which can cause hard transitions where the screen select edges, for example, in foreground grain. Typically, a combination of hard and soft works best. And with this one, you can soften the edges between hard and soft expansion areas. You can also set the clean plate to a frame of choice in your footage. Great for locked off cameras, so CUG doesn't need to reconstruct the clean plate every single time, which also means it's a fair bit faster. Switch to clean plate again to see the result. This looks a lot better. Now we set the output to the back button, which switches the output priority back to the previous tab. We can immediately see the effect that generating a better clean plate has. Most of the background noise is now gone, while we haven't had to worry about losing any of this nice hair detail. Switching between the two clean plate modes makes this very clear. You can also set the output to QC to wipe your result against the original image. Looks pretty good. So this is it for this first video. In the next one, we'll take a look at the key tab, refining our key, and fixing issues like these holes here by working with external mats.